Abia court concludes hearing of Namde Kano's 5 billion naira suit against Nigerian government. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Justice Sanya informed parties that they would receive a hearing notice bearing the date the court will render its judgment. On this particular issue, if only Nigeria is a place where there is law and order, please, yes, there is no law and order in this country. Things happen anyhow. In fact, this period, I cannot count the number of sad news that we have heard. I cannot count it. Things happen and people are not held accountable for it. Do we talk about how just recently in Sokoto, a vehicle track, the only crime these people committed was they were traveling by road. They were burnt. The highest pain ever is to be burnt alive. 40, how many people? That is if they didn't play down with the numbers this time around. While we are still holding our head, there was the news of this little boy in Lagos State attending Doen College, or what's the name of that school. While we are still holding our head in the same Lagos State, a truck or a bus or I don't even know, is it a truck or a trailer, ran into school children coming back from school. The last mark was chasing that truck or, or trailer. Like... These people are not held accountable for it at all. Before you know it, the government will sweep the issue under the carpet. Unfortunately, you see on this issue, huh, I do not know what to come out, what to come out from it to because this is even a state high court. This is a state high court. You need something. These people in government, huh, they don't care about you. They can use the Supreme High Court and, of course, manipulate the judiciary in their favor. And nothing will happen. Nigerians, I hope this is now, it is now a lesson to those that we are gullible. I hope you have come out from that your nature. Those that are being gullible. Those that will still come outside and they were going to flash them some Naira notes. And they will, their brain will just forget, will format all the sufferings of four or eight years ago. It is well. Now the news in detail. The Abbott State High Court in Omaha on Friday concluded hearing of a fundamental human right sold by suit filed by the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Namdi Kano. The lawsuit, which was filed by Namdi Kano's counsel, Barrister Aloy Ejimako, sought the stoppage of a separatist leader prosecution and release from the custody of a nation's secret police, the Department of State Services, DSS. And the suit filed against the Nigerian government, the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and six others. It condemned the abduction of Kano in Kenya and its extraordinary rendition to Nigeria. A.J. Mako had earlier told to her reporters on Friday that a court awaited the presiding judge, Justice Benson Anya. In his address to the court, A.J. Mako stated that it is important to emphasize that the suit is aimed at bearing the prosecution of Mazin Namdekanu and securing his release from detention because the opposite will amount to rewarding the government for the injustice in her Inherent in the illegal rendition of Kanu, who cited the Nigerian Constitution case law and other authorities. In their counter argument, the legal representatives to the respondent, which included Barrister Simon Enoch for the AGF, Omar Osiagi M for the police. Emma Story for the Nigerian Army and C. Odukwe for the Department of State Services, DSS, raised preliminary objection to the jurisdiction of a court to entertain matters pertaining to the federal government. At the conclusion of oral argument, Justice Anya informed parties that they received a hearing notice before a hearing notice bearing the date the court will render its judgment. Okay, let us wait and hope. 
This will not bring anything meaningful. You are using the state high court to sue the federal government that can use court of appeal and even the Supreme Court to quash every judgment passed by this judge. If you want to sue, if you want the city to work, let him take the matter to the Supreme Court. If he wins, if he wins there, then he can get what he's demanding for. Very, very correct. I totally agree because this is a state court. Can they do? The Supreme Court can bring, I mean, can, and in the favor of the federal government, just every judgment, they will just trash it. Whatever they see will be trashed. Yes. But the fact of this matter remains that, the fact of this matter remains that this man in question, he did not do, I'm, I'm not, they are not telling us his offense, so. They are not saying what he did. He incited people. He did this. He did that. Please, they should show people of Nigeria and citizens of Nigeria where this man took to arms. Yes. They don't see evidences against this man because this particular man, not just him alone now, him and the leader of the Udua people, that's the urban nation, they are detention for crimes that they, they never committed. They are so spoiling their, their, their terrorism. How, how did they even put it? Millions of people on a daily basis die by the hand of terrorists. Yet, the government, there is no law against the terrorists anywhere. There is no law against them. People who kill them will come surrender and they'll give them fried rice, chicken, and coals to ice cream. And everything goes well. Meanwhile, people who are freedom fighters, who decide to speak up against the injustice being meted out to their people and attack the enemies of a government. How very, how very, as in, it is very, very worrisome. It is very worrisome. Sincerely, people who are supposed to be the real criminals are left to just wander about freely. Then people who you are, so this particular, how am I going to put it now? This, this, uh, um, the people who are supposed to be in jail, they are now the one being paraded. I mean, they get, they, they are free. In fact, if these people come today now and say, I want Nigeria, I'm not going to be surprised they're going to sell everybody here to them, God forbid. It is very saddening. It is saddening indeed. I just hope that when everything gets right, it is not going to be too late for anyone who will want to revive Nigeria. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning it to listen. Until I come your way next time. And